And we mainly gonna talk about the solar and the wind. This is a two major or say the most commonly and popular used renewable energy system. Right? Um, uh, first of all, we, we, we call them as a renewable energy system. However, what's the otherwise? What kind of energy system you call it otherwise than renewable? Uh, hydro. Hydro. Uh, no, hydro is part of renewable energy, right? No, I'm not asking for alternative name. I'm asking the otherwise. I mean, renewable system and what system in parallel? Non-renewable, yep, yeah, that's what I mean, at least, uh, even though <laughs> it's not <laughs> the, uh, uh, the right answer yet. Two types of system, right? Two types of re energy system, renewable and what? Fossil fuel. Uh, fossil fuel is basically correct. It's basically correct. Now we, we can also call it traditional. Uh, traditional. And the traditional. system, we could have mainly fossil fuel, right? I said mainly fossil fuel, mainly fossil fuel. Uh, fossil fuel, uh, including what? Oh, how much we, we know here? Including what, like what? Coal, oil, gas, good, very good, very, very good, very good. In my opinion, that's a very comprehensive answer already. So that's enough for us. Coal, oil, gas. And the closest power plant, as far as I know, is the consumer energy one at the Bay City, right? Yeah, I, I always uh, lead my uh, 471 class, I have a, a few trip over there. And, and uh, anyone knows what, what kind of a power plant they are running. Anyone knows well, what is the base city uh -huh. one? What is it? Coal. Uh -huh. Coal, yep, a coal. Okay. Coal power plant. It's coal, actually. Correct. And uh, to be honest, that's actually a combination of coal and the what? They also have uh, very huge tanks right next to their uh, uh, right next to their uh, uh, power plant. Is natural gas? I don't think so. It's actually not not uh, natural gas. It's 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 uh, oil. It's oil tank. Over there, they're, they're burning the coal and oil as supplemental power plant. And uh, let's talk about this traditional one a little bit. Okay. And coal plant. Let's talk about a little bit more details about it. Coal plant, of course, the, the, the resource, the very, very beginning resource is coal. What do we do about it? Anyone else? What we do to coal to generate energy? Burn it. Here we go. Very simple. Burn it. Of course, uh, how to burn it? We, we are looking after the efficiency, right? If we try to completely uh, burn it. And so we uh, have a kind of a green grinder, 
to make it as, as small as possible powder and blow the powder into the burner boiler, right? And then to, uh, to have uh, as high as possible efficiency to burn, right? Everything like this. And after burning the 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 coal and generate heat, of course. And how to how, what was the next step? Make steam. Uh, it makes steam. I'm seeing uh, Kevin's answer here. Making steam. How to making that steam happen? Heat up heat up water water in boiler. Right? Basically, that's right. Uh, basically, that's right. Okay, so. Eat and how about condenser generate uh, water with water to generate steam? How about this? What can steam do to us? You generate a bunch of steam. What is for? Pressure. Pressure. Very good. Very good. Yeah, pressure. Steam has very strong pressure. Okay, this, is a, this is trying to, this is what we need it for. Pressure is propelling, right? It's propelling the what? Turbine. Very good. Turbine. Now, the steam turbine, of course. Steam turbine. So you need to move on. Obviously, move on. You are spinning the turbine. The turbine can do what? Generate a potential. Generate potential. Well, not there yet. You're you're propelling the steam turbine, and then uh, not there yet. The steam turbine can do what? Oh, very good. I saw your is right. Okay. That turbine is what? It's through the shaft. It's coupled with what? The shaft of the generator, right? So actually, it's driving the what? The generator spin. Yeah, the generator spin. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Uh, finally, we are reaching the generator. Uh, generating, uh, rotating, rotating. Rotating generator is giving you voltage okay. and or say electric electrical energy. Okay. So my point is this eventually what we need is electrical energy. Of course, further this is a feeding feeding where? By the way, what is the load of your generated electric energy? What's the load? Feeding whom? Home and office, well, not yet, not yet. I mean, still have middle step before home and office. We call it uh, residential customers. Your generator is not who hooking up to, <laughs> to your home and office directly, right? What's in the middle? Transmission line, Transmission line to transformer. Uh, all of these answers are very close. So we should say what? It's power grid, right? This is the for load. Okay. The power grid is load. Okay. And the power grid, including the transmission line and transformer, et cetera, et cetera. And, and then further feeding to residential or industrial load. Right. So they get a feed. Residential and industrial load. Here we go. Right? Here we go. Of course, if the residential, if the industry uh, loads, they, they mean in different voltage level, and uh, you need to have corresponding transformer to take care of the uh, voltage level, right? But this is basically the uh, the, the workflow, right? So, so you're seeing actually it's a, a step step by step procedure here. Okay. And going back here, the, the point is uh, the energy 
generation system meaning eventually always electrical en energy okay you, you whoever is your source eventually they are generating the electrical energy okay. and uh generator is the platform to make that happen but before the generator is being you probably need to go through different different procedure okay. eventually hook up to the generator does it make sense you have a hydro or uh or earth heat or or any sort of procedure okay and then eventually you hook up to the generator who gonna give you the electrical energy does that make sense and they're the only one energy generation system as exception not using generator at all right now kevin is right okay. i realized what is my question even before i finish it <laughs> is the solar is the only system generating electrical energy without using a, gener a generator okay now let me know if you have another example i would appreciate it however uh, probably nothing in commercially available uh, yet okay this is this is uh, this is the thing uh, all right, uh, the coal power plant, uh, we are done here. And then we'll go back to the uh, the classification here, traditional system and the renewable energy system. We have uh, geothermal, hydro, electric, wind, and solar. Uh, of course, I recall the uh, question from Kevin. Uh, he asked about what I need to scroll up. Scroll up. Here we go. Uh, does the nuclear nuclear fall under traditional or renewable? Anyone has answered for this question? Nuclear one is is uh, belonging to which one? Sawyer vote for traditional. Any other opinion? I vote. Well, I mean, Noah votes for uh, renewal. Renewal. Uh, Kevin vote for both. Um, exactly. Okay, around fifty-fifty. Around fifty-fifty. Uh, it's actually the classification could have a different opinion from different people. But I call nuclear energy as alternative energy. What does it mean by alternative energy? It's, it's trying to replace the fossil fuel, which is traditional system. However, it's not green energy, right? It's, it's not green energy. Snow green has very big risk of pollution and uh, explode, explosion or whatever. Recalling uh, several years ago what happened in Japan, right? So my classification is uh, in the middle here. I have a alternative, which means I won't call it traditional and I won't call it renewable either. nuclear but if you call it as one of the renewable well it's, it's not it's not unfair either in my opinion and if you call it a traditional one well it makes some sense too <laughs> so i'm sorry this, this classification i have no uh very firm or or, or solid answer I personally consider it as in the middle, okay. alternative energy, okay. alternative energy, nuclear. Okay. All right, let's uh, move on.
So we have talked about the coal power plant, which is the traditional one. Okay. Uh, let's uh, then briefly talk about the wind and, and the solar respectively, wind system. Wind system. Let's also try to follow a workflow like, like this one. Okay. Wind system, we begin with whom? Wind, of course. And then what this guy can going to do, first of all, to us? Towards, of course, eventually electrical energy, right? Turn turbine. Turn turbine. Wind. How wind turn turbine? How wind turn turbines? Just like here, right? You you have coal, useless. Coal won't give you directly the electrical energy. It's, it's, it's a lot of middle steps there. So 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 coal, you need to do what? You need to burn it, right? The wind. How can it turn the turbine? Can you guys speak? Very tired to, to look. Uh, I need to use my ears instead of my eyes. Here, applying force. Uh, close. And Noah's answer is close. Applying force. How wind applying force? How wind has force? All of these answers are very close. I fully agree. I fully agree. ATM pressure different. ATM, I not following. What does it mean by ATM? Atmospheric. Say that again. Atmospheric. Atmosphere. Oh, I see. Oh my gosh. Atmosphere pre pressure difference. How that happened? Wind resistance. Uh, I. How about this? I mean, the. In my opinion, the best answer is this, right? How wind provide a force? It actually, since it is spinning, it's, it's a rotational system, for the uh, for the tur tur turbine. Is rotational system. It's not displacement system. Okay, right. It's, it's not a, a translational system. Rotational system. So we are not talking about the uh, like uh, uh, directly the force, even though it has force. We how about wind provide a torque? We provide the wind provide a torque towards the uh, the the tur turbine blade. However, how has torque? How does the wind has torque? The wind has what? Speed. Okay. Wind has speed. This is the nature of the wind energy. It has speed. Speed is the variable directly related to the energy, which can generate the torque. And torque the drive or say spin the wind turbine. The wind has speed. This is the source of the energy, actually. The wind, what what about wind? Wind has speed. Okay. The speed is the source of the energy, essentially. Why is that? Something with speed. What's the energy of it? Anyone remember from physics class? You have a certain amount of speed. You have kinetic. Higher speed. Kinetic, very good. Kinetic. Kinetic energy. Uh, e equals to what, by the way? One half times mass times velocity squared. Uh, exactly. Okay. So essentially, the wind energy is what? Is kinetic energy. 
from the speed of the wind. Okay. This is the source. This is the very source, very beginning source. And this guy provided torque, which spinning the wind turbine. Wind turbine. Wind turbine, then the next, uh, the, the rest of the story is pretty similar to the uh, coal, uh, coal plant. This, this turbine is going to drive what the generator shaft to spin as well, right? And generate spinning, I give you the electrical energy. Electrical energy. And here we go. We, we finally reach this guy. And then after having electrical energy, of course, follow the same uh, same uh, story here, right? Uh, feed, the load, etc. Okay. So one concept you need to establish is uh, where what is the the true or say core energy source uh, for wind system. You can say wind, yes, but wind, how could wind has energy? You know what I mean? It's the speed of the wind. In other words, how can you judge this wind has higher or lower energy depending upon its speed? Okay. Higher speed, wind blow, then you have higher energy there. Okay. What matter is how much you can extract. Okay. Because uh, this kinetic energy, there's no guarantee that you can extract all of them. Okay. Uh, by the way, anyone knows the commercial wind turbine, what's the efficiency, generally speaking? Anyone has any rough idea? I'm just talking about the efficiency here. Right? So from here to here, not the electrical energy yet, okay? This efficiency is what? Anyone knows? Six sixty percent. Well, low. What? How low it is? About fifty to sixty percent. Uh, not too bad guessing, but uh, my guess is not my guess. My knowledge is is around forty five percent. Barely beyond fifty. I actually uh, I don't know any turbine is beyond fifty percent yet. Probably some something in research level. Okay, so be careful. Once again, this efficiency is around. It's about the efficiency from what from what wind actually originally have to how much your turbine can extract. So if this efficiency is up to what? Anyone knows? Is up to what? Or, or say how you improve this particular efficiency? You probably need less wind resistance as well. Uh, less wind resistance. Uh, actually, Sawyer, this answer is uh, closer, yeah, very close. Okay. And Kevin is about right too. It's, it's a, but what? Improve what? Your turbine design. Improving the design of the wind turbine, which including the shape of the blades, including the, the pitch angle or or or, or any uh, friction or, or any components involved that to nacelle, right? So this is about how you improve the turbine okay? mechanically, is especially to improve that efficiency. Second efficiency is obviously after this energy. Well, by the way, when, when you reach the turbine, uh, both here and both here and here, here and here, both are turbine energy, which is what kind of energy? We call it what? We can't call it the turbine energy. Okay? What, what is it called? Rotational energy. What? Uh, no. mm, better, but not exactly yet. Mechanical, here we go, there we go. There are mechanical energy, okay? mechanical energy. When you reach the level or step stage of the turbine, you already have the mechanical energy. Obviously, you're still moving towards the electrical energy. However, you are not there yet, okay? 
And that's why you need what generator. A generator is the perfect, the the commonly used power conversion platform to converting the mechanical energy to the electrical energy. Okay. And then go back here. So, so from wind kinetic energy to mechanical energy, well, you have only 45%, around 45% of the efficiency. Yeah. And from mechanical to electrical energy, how much efficiency here? But this is different than efficiency, right? So I gave a prime here. The, well, what is efficiency here? Anyone knows this? Fifty-five percent. Any other answer? What do you think? Let me remind you guys a little bit. Okay, first efficiency. This is the mechanical, basic, pretty much mechanical efficiency. Second is electrical efficiency. What do you What are you expecting? Uh, let me ask another question. You're expecting efficiency, electrical efficiency higher or lower than the previous mechanical? What are you expecting? You guys all have a co-op or, 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 or intern out there, right? You should have a such basic eng electrical engineer e experience, higher or lower. Absolutely higher, okay, come on. We absolutely win ME, okay, <laughs> in terms of this. Okay, absolutely we win, okay. Much higher, come on, okay. This efficiency is higher as double as this, okay. Easy 90%. I, I need to lower down my voice to <laughs> my next word is ME professor, by the way. Okay, so <laughs> this concept thing, you need to be clear, okay? It's a, the, the, no way to tell the accurate value of efficiency since it, it absolutely depends on one system to another, okay? It's a different, a different among different particular specific system. However, the rough idea you need to have, the electrical efficiency is much easier to be higher than the mechanical part, okay? This is, this is, this is, this is not, this is just the electrical part. We, we have better control. Right? We have better control of the uh, efficiency. Efficiency. And uh, how to improve the this second efficiency then? How to improve this? What we need. This is the regard what the design of the uh, what? generator. You just need to de design better generator. Need to design a better generator, right? Okay. Does it make sense? Everything. So tur turbine is the platform to convert your kinetic energy to mechanical energy. After turbine, you already have the mechanical energy and need to be converted to electrical. What's the platform? Generator, a generator. Uh, does it make sense? Everything so far? All right, all right, thank you. And uh, we can move on. Let's talk about the solar then. Let's talk about the solar. Let's talk about the solar. So solar, as we said, is the only system uh, 
uh, without using the generator. So what's the source of the of the uh, solar system? What's the source of the What is it? <laughs> to magic. <laughs> well, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. The sun, okay. The sun gave you the source, okay. The sun, but the sun gave you the source through what? Just like the wind, right? The wind through the speed. In other words, without speed, the wind has no energy. The sun has what? EM wave, very good, very good. Okay. It's, it's, it's electromagnetic uh, waves, okay. radiation. Okay. So the in other words, I just uh, use the easier thing is light. Light has energy. Light has energy. Light has energy. Light energy equals what? Anyone? Anyone knows? MC square one no potential no 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 even even further something with lambda and the C well close that the kind of answer is close energy of light is equal to what is equal to H times F who is H. Planck constant, good, very good. Who is F? Frequency of the light. Okay. That's why Sawyer was right. It's, it's, it's a light is electromagnetic waves. Okay, that, that wave has frequency. That makes perfect sense. Okay. And also, by the way, the frequency equals what? The frequency here is related to the noise answer, lambda and the C. Okay. So equals what? C over lambda. Okay. Who is C, by the way? Speed of light. Speed of light. Who is lambda? A wavelength. Wavelength. Okay. Wavelength. So the longer wavelengths, you have what? Lower energy. In terms of visible lights, who has the lowest uh, wavelength? Do you guys know that? Red. Yep, yep, yep. That's why it has highest energy. Okay. So on so forth, okay, a different color is actually due to different wavelengths. Therefore, they have different frequency. Therefore, they have different energy. Right? All of these, all of these, right? Uh, so it's kind of uh, try to link to the physics knowledge we have learned before. So the sun gave you light, light shoot on what? Light shoot on the Solar cell, a solar cell. Solar cells. Oh, by the way, here, I think I is absolutely need to emphasize solar system has two kind of system, okay? The one we are talking about is called what? PV system. What does it mean by PV? Photovoltaic. Like photovoltaic. We are utilizing the light to directly generate the, the, the electrical energy shooting on a certain material. The second solar system is also called solar system. What is it? Anyone knows? It, has been, it, is, it was used actually a thousand years ago, right? Pressure from light. What do you mean by pressure? The light has pressure? Solar sails 
solar sails. What, what is these? I'm not quite follow Sawyer, but uh, the other one is very easy. Okay, just just like what? Okay. Concentrating your light, the sunlight, to generate what heat. That worked. Just like burning the leaves with the magnifying glass, right? Exactly. That's the, exactly the same thing. Is it the, 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 why do you, can, you can burn something? Because they generally heat. Heat is nothing but energy. Okay. It works. Okay, it works. And you have heat. Pretty much you can follow the same idea in the power, power uh, coal power plant. Go through the condenser to, to, to have a steam. You can, you can do that. Okay. Well, here the, 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 the chat space is, uh, is, is, is a little bit, uh, uh, can't very well follow, but uh, let, let's go further. Okay. So now we are talking about here. Okay. Yeah, we only talk about PV system. Okay. Photovoltaic. Yeah, concentrating light, sunlight. Well, this was used by ancient, uh, ancient, uh, Greeks, uh, e even military uh, behavior. So, thousands of years ago, okay, so there's no uh, technology involved, not much. Okay. We'll go back to here. The sunlight shoot on the solar cell. Solar cell is made of what? Special material. How about that? Special material. Right. Give you what? Anyone else? What is what 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 does it give you? Electro energy. That that's true. And then, then, then but but before the electro energy, uh, what is it directly give you that the solar cell can give you? You light shoot on this per uh, material. What is the direct immediate consequence? You see, seeing what? Voltage potential, okay, potential. Potential generated. And this guy is the electrical energy. Okay? This guy is the ele electrical energy. And of course, if you're saying solar cell and directly generate electrical energy, that's not wrong either. I just a few is necessary to emphasize the middle step here. It give you the voltage potential. Uh, voltage potential. Voltage potential is is electrical energy. And Kevin also mentioned is a DC. Okay, this, this solar cell cannot give you AC. Okay, give you DC. So what do you need to feed the AC load, which is more obviously uh, popular. What do you need to, to, to feed AC load? DC to AC converter, exactly right, which is called the inverter. Okay, inverter. inverter. There's nothing but inverter here. Okay. So the electrical energy. Go ahead to feed whatever and maybe emphasize one thing, just an inverter in the middle to emphasize how you're going to feed the load. Because most of loads are AC load, okay? I remember that. Most loads are actually AC load. Most loads are AC load. Uh, well, of course, our, our laptop, our uh, small electronics, most of them are DC loads. Okay, that's true. That's true. 
but actually uh, overall is still AC load or more. Okay. Uh, so these are uh, wind, actually including also the coal power plant, wind and solar system. Uh, power flow, uh, power flow, how we realize how the power and energy is converted and uh, and uh, move on to the next stage. Okay, this is this concept you need to be very clear, knowing what you are dealing with, knowing what you're dealing with. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is this. It doesn't matter which types of system, it's uh, traditional, renewable, wind or solar, it doesn't matter. We have always two types of operation okay. this is uh, regarding another uh, classification okay which two types one is we call it grid tied right or say grid integrated what's the other one there anyone knows Off grid, off grid, fine. Or how about standalone? Or or say isolated, okay, isolated. Okay, grid tied and isolated. Um, by the way, what does it mean by uh, grid tied? And what does it mean by standalone? Anyone know anything about them? Can we talk? T A L K? Um, grid time would be like. My house is technically connected to my neighbor's house through the power lines, where off-grid would be my house has got its own battery bank with an inverter to give me the energy I need. Uh, close. I think that that's basically right. Yeah, basically right. Because Kevin is talking about discussing these two concepts uh, in terms of, or say, from the customer, or say, load standpoint. Uh, however, if you're talking about the energy generation system, it's basically the same idea. So we have a generator okay, for both. Okay. So standalone and grid high. The grid high system, your generator is still responsible of generating electrical energy. However, is what? Your armature. Uh, generally speaking, is AC generator. Your armature is hooked to the grid. Directly. Okay. Okay. And of course, your shop is in the middle and which is driven by the turbine or or or, or anything else, right? And so this is a great time. It's very meaningful. Your, 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 your voltage terminals here are connected to the grid, power grid. Stand alone means what? You're not feeding grade. You're not feeding grade. You're feeding directly a load. Obviously, this must be AC load, or otherwise you need a uh, inverter. Uh, you you need a rectifier. You need a rectifier. Okay? Yeah, because we once again we are assuming we have AC generator here. Okay? The same thing on the other side, which is the shaft driven by the source. This this is this is basically uh, this different structure. And to this type of system, what we know about it? Anything you know? Or say, what's the difference between these two?
Anyone knows? Yeah, the, the grid tide system uses the power company's uh, resources when it's not able to uh, keep up with the load. Uh, what does that mean then? Where, where then? Where is the uh, power? It's tied company? into the utility. Yep. So it's tied into the utility lines, transmission lines, or whatever you want to call that. There. That's that's true. That's true. It's just just like uh, just like uh, the the structure we we draw here, basically. And what about it essentially is. Your frequency put... of the generator is fixed, right? This is very significant. Does it make sense? Your frequency of the generator is fixed. What does it mean then? Anyone knows your AC generator? Uh, Frequency is fixed. What does it mean? It has to supply 60 hertz because it's tied into everything else. I understand. And then what is the consequence? Frequency of the generator is fixed at 60 hertz. Correct. So what? So what? Remember, okay, AC generator. If your frequency is fixed, that means your rotation speed is fixed. Okay, I remember this. Your generator speed is fixed. And uh, linking to the uh, the uh, the Bay City power plant, that one that one is power uh, is grid tied synchronous gen generator, very big. And if you ask them what's the what's the speed generator speed, well, they can tell you it's running at sixty hertz. And sixty hertz is a frequency, is not uh, RPM, not radian per second either. However. The frequency is fixed at 60 hertz, and therefore the rotation speed is also fixed at certain RPM, according to that 60 hertz. Okay, and how to find the RPM based on 60 hertz? It, it's up to how many poles uh, the generator has. That's that's another level of the uh, knowledge, but but just uh, you just need to remember this. Okay. Because it's very hard, uh, there's a very hard concept to understand. For example, if this is a great tie wind power system, yeah, great tie wind power system. You have wind, right? Driving this one. Wind, wind turbine, right? It looks like so, at least. Driving a generator, right? Generating electric power, feeding the grid, right? If this is directly hooked up to the uh, the grid, this is 60 hertz, fixed. Your 60 hertz is fixed. Your rotation speed here is fixed as well. However, you might have different wind speed. Uh, I, according to my experiences, this is uh, one of the uh, hardest uh, concepts a student can accept. But this is very true. Okay, as long as your generator is directly hooked up to the power grid, your frequency is hertz, uh, sixty hertz fixed. So is your rotation speed here. No matter what is the wind speed, no matter what is the wind speed, your generator is being spinning at diff as the same speed. Because it is determined by so the voltage mean, armature voltage frequency. Okay, because the speed is determined by 
armature voltage frequency. So this is this is the one of the uh, very difficult uh, concepts students feeling to accept, but this is very true. Okay. So to do that, do they turn the wind turbine into a load if there's no wind to keep the speed going, or do they have like a changeable gearbox that keeps it spinning at the proper speed? On the well, generator these side things, and... first of all, you are talking about two things, okay? okay? These are two different things. First, generator speed at 60 hertz is much, much faster than the turbine speed. Therefore, yes, you do need a gearbox in the middle here, okay? To couple the shaft of the generator and the shaft of the turbine. You do need to gear, use gearbox to couple two different speeds because 60 hertz uh, generator speed is rotating very, way faster than the turbine speed. This is very this is very obvious. How to couple two different speeds? You, you need a gearbox, yes. Yeah. A second thing you're talking about is actually uh, giving, a, giving a load. Is that what you say? Yeah, if they need to maintain the generator at the 60 hertz speed and there's no wind out today, so the wind turbine's not spinning. Well, then if there's no wind or wind speed is too low below so-called cutting speed, what you need to do is either shut off this generator. You have a break or, or shut off system to do that. Or, okay. or you have to let it run. So the generator is not a generator anymore, right? But a what? A motor. Yes, you are consuming energy rather than generating energy. That's true. So generally speaking, below the cutting wind speed, people won't turn on the system. There's a cutting vote, uh, cutting wind speed there to, to decide turn on or off of the system. However, no one can change this fact that as long as you're you're connect directly, okay, connect to the power grid, 60 hertz is fixed, and this guy must rotate at this speed. No one can change that. It has nothing to do with your wind speed, it has nothing to do with your load, it has nothing to do with your gearbox, nothing to do with anything else. Right. 60 hertz is 60 hertz because your generator speed is determined exclusively by your frequency here. Well, of course, do you have a variable speed generator wind system? Of course you do. How to make your generator speed very variable? Oh, anyone knows? It's, it's feeding the grid. However, you can change the generator speed. What do you need? Anyone knows? Transmission? No, this is not car. This is this is not our car. If it, but with transmission, pretty much is a gearbox, right? You give a gearbox, you can receive different speed. However, the generator speed is not changing. You know what I mean? The generator speed can be changed. Variable speed. Wind speed, a uh, wind system. How can you change the generator speed? Any, any, anyone knows actually? Any experience? Well, here is the answer. Okay, directly hook up to the grid. No way. What do you need? Power electronics. in the middle to change the frequency at this end. This end is remaining at 60 hertz, of course. You can't do anything because it's directly out of the grid. But you can change this end frequency by applying a power electronics. This power electronics specific is what? This is side is AC, right? This side is AC as well. However, this side AC is 60 hertz. This side AC has variable frequency. How to make that happen? 
you need a AC to DC stage followed by a DC to AC stage. In other words, this AC to DC is what rectifier directly follow another inverter. This is so-called back-to-back converter. You put a back-to-back -back converter in between generator and the power grid, you're able to change the generator side voltage frequency. Therefore, you can change the generator speed. However, this side remain as 60 hertz. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. This is the concept that this is the how it really works. Okay, how you make the different generator speed happen. You need power electronics, back to back converter in the middle. This is the variable speed wind power system. Okay. Uh, any questions? Any any thoughts? Any, anything? All right. If this is fine, then uh, thank you for attending today's lecture, and uh, uh, talk to you guys all uh, next uh, Monday.